Welcome back to HowToAV.TV. We're at the Tide Conference over at ISC 2018, and I'm joined by Dan Rosegaarde. Rosegaarde, thank you for trying. Super. Uh, who is an artist, a designer? Dan has just delivered the first keynote speech of the day over at Tide, yeah. and really has given us all huge inspiration about the work that you do and the work that we should all be doing. Thank you. So, so Dan, you have a, a very different way of thinking about projects and a lot of the projects that you do are very environmental and they're certainly yeah. about creating, using technology for social change. Yeah. Is, is yeah. that right? Yeah, because the change is already happening. So what we have to decide is uh, how to speed it up and how to become part of it instead of just resisting it. Yeah. And I, and I think that a, a lot of the audience, certainly myself, we were listening to what you're doing and, and I think we've all got the opportunity to change what we're doing with our technology. You're, yeah. you're, you're not using it purely for the purpose of, a, of, of commercial, you're using it for, I think really for everybody's future perhaps. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I, 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 lo I love technology. I'm the son of a math teacher, so I mean, we, we spend so much time, love, energy on tweaking it, on trying to master it. But in the end, it's the idea which sort of drives the whole proce process and putting people in a room, you know, and, and, and saying this is what we want. We're not sure what it is yet, but let's make it happen. So let's try and give people an example of, of the type sure. of projects that you do. And, and I was fascinated straight away by the water light experience. Yeah. Yeah, Tell yeah, us yeah, all yeah. about that, Dan. So that's actually about um, the, 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 the power and the poetry of living with water. As you may know, the Netherlands, we live, most of it is below sea level. So without technology, we would yeah, die, very simple. And it's not just London. Eh? Um, and New York was flooded a couple of uh, years ago. Uh, Miami is going to get hit. You know, the UK, Paris was flooded a couple of weeks ago. So we have to sort of renegotiate our relationship with, 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 with the world around us. Uh, this project particularly was really about sort of showing how our future world could look like, creating awareness about it and hopefully action. So it's a combination of, of LEDs and lenses which shows how high water level would be um, if we stop thinking, if we stop investing in ideas. And uh, it's, it's, we did it um, three nights ago in Leeuwarden, in the, the north of the Netherlands, and in London as well, two weeks ago, during Lumiere, uh, the light festival. Yeah, and millions and thousands of people go there, and uh, some a bit scared, some mesmerized. Uh, all is good. Yeah. You, you were saying that you don't watch your own artworks. You don't watch your no, own projects, you watch the audience. I look at the people, it's way more interesting. And, and, and what changes do you, do you think it's, it's, it's bringing about in, in the way that people are reacting? Well, I think, I think there's a tendency to realize things are changing, but to sort of wait or to sort of say, oh, government or my neighbor or my father or my husband or my wife. Um, but when you experience it in a physical way, in an experience way, it gets into your, your brain. And look at your own life or my life. When did we change? Mm -hmm. It's because of physical experience, like, like something bad, like an accident or something beautiful when you meet somebody hey, you, you care about. Um, so how can I create these kind of experiences which open up space in people's brain? And maybe it sounds naive, but I mean, I think it sort of works, yeah. And what about the uh, the wonderful smog project? Tell yeah. us a little bit about that because, so we, yeah. because you took that to another level. You took it to one stage and then you took it to another again, Dan. Yeah, we just suck it up. We suck it, up literally, smog. Literally. Yeah, we just suck it up, you know. I mean, Oxford Street, one of the most polluted cities in this whole region. Eh? Um, somehow, the cities have become machines that are harming us, that are damaging us. So, so we decided to build the largest smog vacuum cleaner in the world. It sucks up the polluted air releasing it so we have public space where you can breathe again and uh, actually we would love to bring that to like a Hyde Park or a Serpentine uh, in London. Uh, it's been launched in Amsterdam, now a big uh, tour in China, India, Colombia, Mexico uh, has signed agreements and Poland is opening next week. They're installing now, today. Yeah. I just got a call from the project manager. So um, yeah, the beauty of clean air and actually you know making places which are good for people. So that was fascinating. Yeah. And you, you actually took the, the resulting carbon from, from your giant hoover bags and, uh, yeah, so and, and, and actually uh, so this is, applied um, those. This is Rotterdam smog, compressed uh, smog. So by sharing a ring, you donate a thousand cubic meter of clean air uh, to the city where the tower is in and wedding couples purchasing it uh, to get married. And, you know, in a way, it's sort of a, a, propo a proposal for, for, for the new world. And, um, 
it's interesting how the finance we make with the jewelry helped us to to realize more towers. So it's not just the, the symbol, the idea. It's the new economy, and it's something we we would never dream dreamt of when we started the project. Uh, we had a lot of discussion. People like, who's going to wear pollution at his finger? You know, like that's disgusting. Um, but there's something powerful in activating community because there's so many people who want change but they don't know how so if design or technology can 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 be a tool that is great about tide that a lot of our manufacturers and our knowledge partners were actually in the audience so we've been working with them for years and years uh, putting the dream out there asking their expertise how to make it happen because i don't know I, I'm, i'm not an expert in led um, but i want to work with the experts to make it happen um, so there's a power in to activate the knowledge Uh, but my job is to sort of, you know, uh, connect it to, to a new thinking, new idea. The Tide Conference over at ISC 2018 is all about new ways of design thinking. Dan, what you've taught us today absolutely encompasses that. Hugely inspiring. My